Okay, so I get to meet your parents. That's only fitting. You've you met my mom. Yeah. She she was a little extreme. Well, I'm her son, so she it was only my sister why she wanted to be overprotective. You know, like how Fathers are very protective of their daughters, and mothers are very protective of their sons. But they always seem to be equally or at least overly protective of their daughter. Makes sense, but still. <sighs> okay. Okay, being your parents, uh, do I need to bring anything? Is that, well, if they ask, um, let them know that you are a hero, or She's trained to be. Well, we can go from there. Okay. But first, hey, let's, let's get some sleep. All right. Sure. Is that? Ah, 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 ah. Nope, 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 nope. What? He's going to his dorm. You are going. Wherever the hell you... I mean, she can sleep in the common room. Right? And no one has any real objections to that? Mm -hmm. uh, can we see I do or don't? Let's just... Uh, she can sleep with one of us. Huh? There's a whammon just looking around... Uh, uh, who said that? I did. I got courageous ring in her hands. Like, okay, but who's gonna volunteer? <laughs> All I say is, ramp. Well, I just decided to sneak into Izuku's room, and I know for a fact that these walls aren't soundproof. <laughs> okay, that's it. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it. Yep, looks like it's all you, huh? Oraka. One more time. N nope. You must respect the rules of rock, paper, scissors. <sighs> Don't worry, kid. I won't. Mm. Yeah, I won't talk about anything that unless it's uncomfortable. Okay. Okay, fine, fine. Her just walking, trying to think, oh, you shit, why, why does this have to happen to me, fall people? It's midnight's. Oh, barely you than me. What was that? Oh, yeah, you weren't a part of rock, paper, scissors, were you? Um. Well, it's as this was a student decision, but she's an adult. Oh, maybe maybe you should be the one to. I would rather not. This is, this is a, that's just a better idea. I could talk with uh, more stuff with her than you. Uh, so we're going to be roommates. Uh. She looks at Zawa and everyone else is like, I don't have a choice here, do I? Like, either you, Oraka, or me. Take her pick. She could scar Oraka. She, she sure as hell can't scar me because. <laughs> but you, you see some shit already, so. Hmm. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Fine. This is why I give her one to be a big mouth and whatever. Oh, shit. <sighs> Alright. Now yeah, that's settled. I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow, Harley. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Harley's just blowing. He's a good kiss until he runs in and kisses her himself. So yeah, that blow me a kiss that ain't gonna do it for me. I need a real one. 
everyone else groaning in disbelief as well as a pissed off look, especially from the guys. Only having a few girls be uh, notably upset. Because this gives us for at least 10 to 20 seconds. And Manetta, being a commentator slash spectator, he has no real problem blurring out what he sees. And that's pretty much it. When they get to bed, he goes like, mess. I'm actually meeting her parents. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Well... As long as I don't kill her father. Or, hmm. Who knows, I might end up killing her mother, depending on how she reacts. Wait, what the hell? Why am I talking like this? This, ugh. Must be that other me. Or is it? See, that's a good point. How much of this is me? How much is it because of that Joker Venom? Shit. Never really thought of it that way. As, right, at Midnight's room, she's covering her ears because Harley won't shut up. What I mean by that, she won't stop talking about Izuku. Midnight being envious while also wanting to kill the bitch. She knows she can't, unless it's to clear self-defense, but she tries to use her quirk. Which makes things worse! <laughs> because Harley is dreaming about Izuku! And her moans can be heard throughout this day, midnight's room onto the teacher's area. Them pretty much like motherfucker, shut up! Man, I already did one time. I can't just wake her up and yes, you can. As then they just try to use earmuffs. It helps everyone except Midnight because she doesn't have another bed or futon. She has to share with Harley. And uh, ha Harley having a rock uh, wet dream is not the best uh, circumstances. She gets grabby. A little too close for comfort when it comes to midnight. And she can't use her cork again because she's already sleeping. So while midnight is pretty much feeling, or at least being felt up by Harley... She's trying her best to keep her voice down. Because Harley's moans are one thing. They got the earmuffs for that, but Midnight's could be catastrophic. Up until she actually does get relieved via Harley feeling satisfied. As well as Midnight. <laughs> Midnight did not get as much sleep. Harley was going on for hours. And now she's just wondering, okay, if she can last that long sleeping, and she's this clingy, oh my god, that boy has been having the best nightly visits ever. Her getting even more jealous. So, then she remembers something that Inko did mention before she left. That, yeah, they did have to burn Izuku's bed and sheets all because of the mess that he and Harley made. But, all in all, it was an experience. The next morning, when she sees that Izuku's up and at him, she sees that he's alright, he's yeah, he looks a little winded for some reason she does it he's a good it's midnight 
What is that? Oh, what is it? Oh, that? Yeah. I had a wonderful dream last night. Was Harley in it? Yes. I had a dream too. Is it Harley was that? <laughs> uh, she sees a what? Oh, a wet spot. Uh, don't worry, this isn't pee. Manera's a <laughs> something sounds familiar. Him running down there is a yeah. I, I figure I'd not smell anywhere. How would you know? I've been to Amsterdam. Okay, that makes me sense. That makes more sense. It's like, yeah, Harley, you should take care of that. Like, <sighs> really? But it seems like such a hassle, Harley. What? Just, just get, just change. You don't have to change everything. You just gotta change what's messy. <sighs> Fine, fine, whatever. And then Izuku, he gets better looking. Midnight seeing that Midnight, you might need a change too. Like, what? Why? Don't you feel a little cold? Like, Wait, what? Like, <gasps> Let me guess. Harley. Yeah. She got a little too uh, grabby, didn't she? Uh huh. Well, did you, did she say anything else? She was calling your name. Mm. Oh. I apologize. No, it's, it's, it's just the fact that <sighs> I'm, I, when I was finally able to get some sleep, all I could still hear was your name. Yeah, I am so sorry about that. I, I am truly sorry. No, just... Let's just not talk about it. I will go change. You, you get ready for breakfast before the, any other students show up. Fair. That, that was fair. As Izuku, he gets cooking and Harley, she f feels fresh as a daisy. While she clings to Izuku, everyone else shows up. The teachers, they have bags under, over, over their eyes. Is it, wow, what happened to you? Harley happened to us. Uh, well, sorry. <sighs> Mr. Aizawa? You seem more tired than usual, your girlfriend's the fault for that. Oh, right. I've, I'm, I'm sorry. No, just just don't mention it, please. I, I, I do not want... <laughs> oh, God. What? She was calling your name. So, we had to get earmuffs. So, for each moan, we didn't hear your fucking name. Oh dear God, that's I'm so sorry. Then thirteen. This is a, next time. She's sleeping in your dorm room. We don't care anymore as long as she doesn't interrupt our sleep. Is the guy? It's just like woman. Y'all teachers. It's time for y'all make y'all y'all teachers and heroes. Y'all gotta make some sacrifices. We do make sacrifices whenever we're doing hero work. Our sleep is important. Your students, you don't get to do hero work yet. You don't get to the screen as that hell. Is it uh thirteen? Do you need to change your suit? Shut up! Shut the fuck up, boy. As she, her and her mind's like, I already had to change it before. It's not fair. How do I, how do I explain to the dry cleaners the wet spot in the front of my hero suit? That's not fair. But all in all, it's a relatively normal day. It's shall we see midnight again. 
So, seriously, you can sleep in Izuku's room. We just do not care anymore. I, I will personally take all your stuff and put it into his room. We will reinforce every wall, window, door to make it as soundproof as possible for you two. We will buy you new beds, new sheets, and everything else as long as you keep it to a whisper. Or at least try to keep it to a whisper. Yeah, I can try, but I don't think it'll, I don't know if it'll be possible given Izuku's <laughs> tendencies. Find a way, or we may spay and neuter the both of you. That's illegal. Oh, you leave me here? I will happily do the time. Everyone else just nodding in agreement. Wow, you teachers are really do not uh, take too kindly to that. No, we don't. So, at the very least, be mindful of others. Harley. Understood. As they pack up what stuff they do have and head on to America. <sighs> I'm really doing this, aren't I? Shit. As soon as they do head to Harley's parents' place, they are actually pleased to see her. Her dad especially. Zuko's trying to mask the murderous aura that is his anger. And succeeding. He just hides behind a fake smile as he shakes this man's hand. Seeing this. Say, huh. What about high five? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a funny one you are. I try. So, Mom, um, what's going on? Nothing much. So, who's your friend here? Oh, this is Suzuku, my boyfriend. What? Yeah. How old is he? She gives, <laughs> she gives them her <laughs> his age. It's like, I'll be right back. And she hears the dialing of 911. She's like, Mom, Mom, what are you doing? He's like, don't worry. I, 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 will I will take care of him. I'll send him back wherever you found him. But I cannot allow you to get away with this. It's like, Wait, what are you talking about? It's like, you can't be with someone who's underage. Like, Mom. He's from Japan. So what? It's legal there. So what? Wait, what? Yes, it's legal there. As her dad under her breast says, Damn, I was born in the wrong country. Didn't say. So, bitch, what'd you say? <laughs> wait, wait, that's not what I meant. That's not at all what I meant. I, I, I did not mean it sound like that. It's like, no. No, you, you. You meant something. So what did you mean if you didn't mean that? So, <clears throat> well, you see, uh, you see, when I was younger, I was like, oh, so you want? Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I see what you mean. Let me guess. You had certain someone older than you want your affections. E yes. Well, actually, I want her. She was married. But see, but plus, since she was older, it, it was looked down upon. Me, uh, being a man, I would have, uh, I would have gotten high fives from from throughout the world. Her being an older woman, she would have most likely gotten a slap on the wrist. But hearing that in Japan, we could have done something, despite her being married and she being a happy mother, she. 
she and I could have possibly had something. <sighs> Seriously. What the hell, man? What? D don't worry about it. Just, just... Hey, at the very least, man, I, all I can say is... Hmm. Yeah, take care of my daughter. For as long as you both shall live. Okay, that was a little ominous. Is yeah, he leaves. Her mother trying to play hostess, talking about how Harley was, how she's always had a dream of her being married to a doctor. She is a doctor, huh? Harley, she's a she is a doctor. Oh right, she, wait, she is. Mom, I told you I'm a psychiatrist. We are doctors. We we are doctors. Hmm. Yeah, but you're the head doctors, not them. Uh, so, I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, you're the doctor of the mind, more like a doctor of the body. She, oh, I have the doctor of the body. As she just clings to Izuku's. Wait, so you're a doctor? That's not what she meant. I'm tra I'm trained to be a hero. Oh, so anyway, she says you doctor of the body. Oh my god! So you actually... Yep. With my... With my daughter uh-huh Harley why well because you don't know how <clears throat> how well he he is to a certain uh, how well endowed he is but are you sure because if he's to Japan nope no nope, nope that's too easy it's too easy to make a an Asian joke. It, it's too easy. I can't. I can't do it. I mean, I could, but no. That's that's just that's just uh, grabbing for a little fruit. That's that's too easy. Either way, <laughs> as soon as soon as her dad gets back, he's so easy to be a warrior. Plans for the future. Be a hero. What? Huh? Our Harley's a villain. You can make playdates of it. Dan, I'm not a villain anymore. What? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. So, where we're having that Joker? Eh, he's probably in Arkham right now. He's until he breaks out again. Man, seriously, best should just kill him already. It will have saved a lot more time. So many lives. Well, you know his thing. If he kills once, what's going to stop him from killing again? <sighs> Fair. That's why he needs to at least have a little taste for it. What? Yeah. D heck, do it in moderation. Kill the bad people until there's no bad people left and everything is peachy. Uh-huh. And you would really think that would work. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Seriously, all the people Joker hurt. Jason. Not to mention Barb. What? Who's 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 Barb? You don't know, do you? No. And what? And who's Jason? Oh. Well, let, let me. I'm gonna have to enlighten you in a different way, aren't I? Well, maybe later. Maybe later. As uh, hey, Zuko, are you allowed to drink? No. So you're allowed to pop one of these with a... Well, 
Uh, you know what? Here, have, have a drink. No, 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 this, this stuff is shit. Come, come with me, I'll get you a real drink. Are you just like, go ahead, go ahead. My parents like you. Let's not ruin the momentum here. Okay, fine. As he walks down to the cellar. Okay, this seems a little suspect. I don't know. Just, and all this for a drink. He's like, well, you made my little girl happy. That's more than what I could ever hope for. As he sprays something in Izuku's face. Izuku, being enraged, and swats him straight back up to the, to the first floor of their building. Harley wanting to know what the fuck happened, seeing a canister of Joker Venom in her dad's hand. And that is where I'm ending this part off. Peace out, my peoples.